Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a custom Amazon storefront. Amazon can easily have 3 billion visits on their website every month making it an attractive distribution channel for sellers. Amazon offers an incredible opportunity to reach new markets and increase the visibility of your brand. Amazon already allows you to bring in the in-store experience online with a custom brand destination for setting up your Amazon store. The web store feature was previously only available to manufacturers through AMS or Amazon Marketing Services. If you're a third-party seller and own a registered brand on Amazon Brand Registry 2.0, you are now able to create an Amazon storefront in Seller Central. Just like an e-commerce website, you now have the ability to develop and establish your brand all while organizing and optimizing your product listing. By setting up an Amazon storefront, you can drive engagement with the shopper to not only shop your products, but also learn more about your brand. But before we start, I just want to let you know that this feature is only available to professional sellers that are subscribed to the professional selling plan for $39.99 a month. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that you need to do is to sign in to your Amazon Marketing Services. Click the Stores tab located on the top, then click the Create Store button. Amazon will direct you to the Store Builder Wizard. First is the Store Settings. This is where you will upload your brand logo. Click on the Upload Image box or the Upload button, then select the logo or picture that you want to upload. All images must be at least 400 by 400 pixels or else Amazon won't accept it. Drag the slider to adjust the size of your image, then click the Crop button to confirm the adjustment. Placing the tags for your logo is optional but I recommend that you place something in there. It helps optimize your search results. Select the yes so the logo can be visible on your storefront, then click the next button. The first page that you create on Amazon storefront is the home page, and all of the pages are nested on this page. Label your page, meta description, then select the template for your home page. Each preset template can be customized by adding or removing tiles. You also have the option to choose a blank template and start from scratch. Think about what items and branded content you want to highlight on your page and choose the template that best highlights your brand and your products. Once you have selected a template, click the Save button to continue. Amazon will direct you to a blank store page. The left side is where you can see the page that you have created. This is also where you can create new pages. The middle is the portion of the template that you have selected. The right side is the control area. This is where all of the editing and the rest of the functions are done. Each tile on your page is a mini template with a specific size and type. You can either choose a product, a text description, a video, or an image. To add a single product from your catalog, click the product type. Type the ASIN number on the field and click the search button. Once the product shows up, click the add button beside it. You will notice that the product will be displayed in the selected tile with a price on it. Adding an image is the same as uploading the logo earlier. Click in the title, 
then click the Upload Image box or the Upload button. Drag the slider to adjust the size of your image, then click the Crop button to confirm the adjustment. If you can't find the right orientation, change the size of your image to 1500 by 750 pixels for it just to fit right in. Hero image is shown across all of the pages of your store. Uploading it is the same as uploading any images. The recommended image size is 3000 by 600 pixels. When you select the text type, it will automatically direct you to the text editor. Just type in your text description, then set up the alignment. Add your product that you're describing by typing the ASIN, then click the search button. On the search results, click the add button beside your product. You should see the shop now link right below your text description. Let us try adding a page. The home page is where all of the other pages are nested. Click the Add Page button located on the left side. The wizard will direct you to the template selection of this new page. Label the page navigation title, then fill in the page meta description. Select your desired template, then click the Add Pages button below. You will notice that the template is nested to a home page. Let us add a second page. In nesting it to a certain page, you just need to drag the page and align it. Do it with the rest of the pages. You can preview your output on a mobile or on desktop. Just click the preview on top, then select the appropriate device. Once you're complete and satisfied with the layout of your store, Click the Submit for Publishing button located on the top right. Amazon will review your store to make sure that you're in compliant with the Amazon guidelines. Within 72 hours, you will receive an email when the review is complete. Once approved, your Amazon store will appear on Amazon and help you with your sales and build your brand. And that, ladies and gents, are the things that you need to know in building a custom Amazon storefront. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.